Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. In the last episode, Kaito died, and it was glorious. And now we have this confusion. I am... I'm having a moment. I... I have so many questions. Like, first of all, Junko? Hello, is that you? Secondly... Monokuma, what's going on with your head? What's going on with this? I... I have so many thoughts. My... My initial thought is that we're only seeing this person's back. Yes, they clearly have the silhouette of Junko, but we can't see their face. We're only seeing them from behind, so I think... My, my initial three theories are, you know, one, it's Junko. It's Junko. She's just here somehow. Two, it's someone dressed as Junko. Three, it's a mannequin. It's not her at all. Like, I, I... I have questions. I have many questions. Also, who's speaking? Who's speaking? Is Junko, question mark, the one speaking? I don't... I, you know, I'm... You know what? It's been a while. It's been a while, but I think I'm gonna do Junko's voice for this. The killing game will never end. Never ever. As long as I'm around, it'll never end. It'll repeat over and over and over. Why would I let something this fun ever end? I want to have more fun. As long as it's fun, we have to keep doing it. That's just simple supply and demand. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Such despair. Later that night. I found myself standing in that one spot in the courtyard celebrating! <laughs> we never have to put up with Kaito again! Da 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 I've still got more cider left. I've still got more of it left. I'm gonna keep celebrating. The place where Kaito and I were trained together. My heart felt crushed. All the loss and guilt and helplessness sinking in my chest. But still, I stood there. Hmm. Well, what are you doing? Ah, oh. oh, Maki. Hey. So, you came too. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry. Maki, I'm sorry. What? For what? Uh, um... I was the one who drove Kaito into a corner. Just like Kaede, I... I end up betraying everyone important to me. It's all my fault. Hmm. Well... Are you feeling lonely? Huh? Hey. Are you lonely now that Kaido is gone? Oh, I... I don't feel lonely in the slightest. I feel like this huge weight has been taken off of my shoulders. I feel like I can enjoy the game completely without him here. Oh, it's glorious. Hmm. Uh, okay. Yeah, lonely. I... I feel so lonely and so sad. I... I don't know what to do. The only reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaito. If he hadn't have been my friend, I would be... That's right. Me too. I can't remember the last time I ever cried that hard. I wonder how long it's been. Okay. But I won't cry anymore. I'm sad, but I'm grateful to Kaido. Huh? Grateful? Okay. Yeah, I want to tell him that rather than being sad or lonely, I'm grateful to him. Hmm. <laughs> That's why I won't cry anymore. I'm not going to wallow in pity. I want to show him how much I appreciate all the things he did, like negging me and invading my personal space. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation too. Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome with the pair of them. I'm sure that our friends who've passed on don't want to see us miserable. Thanks. Yeah. Huh? Ah, oh, so you guys were here after all. 
Yeah. Just like I thought. Oh, jeez. I knew you guys would be here, because I cast a spell to find you. Ah. Oh. Samugi, Himiko? Um, um, if you don't mind, can we join you in your training? Notice now that Kaito's gone, people are asking to join. Only once he's left the training sessions do other people want to come in. Mm-hmm. Huh? <laughs> I'll train you all from the ground up so we can end this killing game together. Huh? We're going to end this together? Yeah. Himiko and I promised Kaito. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do what we promised and work together to end this killing game. All right. We can't afford to lose to despair. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Monokuma said that there's no hope anywhere. But he's wrong. There is hope. My friends are my hope. Kaito said it best. I'm not alone. That's right. I have friends. Not just my friends here, but also friends who have died. They all gave us their hope too. That's why I'm going to live. I want to live for everyone who died. Despair cannot defeat me. I will hold on and survive no matter what. Hmm. Thank you, Kaito. <laughs> Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Come on, get this over with. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Cause he's dead! Cause, I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. And he's dead! Hey, no fair, Kaito. Hey! Oh, by the way... Uh... What happened to Kibo? Do you know where he went? Huh? Kibo? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, what is that guy off doing? <laughs> I don't think a robot really needs to do any training. Robophobia, Marky! The Robophobia! But... But the rest of us are here. I kind of wish he'd come too. Hmm... It's quiet. Oh, Kibo, what are you doing, Kibo? What's happening with you? Too quiet. And yet, this silence is quite refreshing. I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope, guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. I did notice when when his hair spike got ripped off, there was this little crackle of electricity. I... Who are you hearing? I said before, I, originally I thought that Kibo's inner voice, I thought it was just a joke. I thought it was a joke, but it's come up time again and again and again and again. I'm like, this is a clue. This is a clue. There is something going on here. And now that thing's been ripped off. That piece of his hair has been ripped off and suddenly his inner voice is gone. I... Again, I, th I think this is all going to take a very meta twist. I th Maybe the game devs were communicating with him via that hair strand. They were communicating... So it wasn't, it wasn't really a hair strand. It was more like an antenna or a receiver or something. But they were talking to him via that and kind of guiding him, saying like, hey, you need to do this, you need to do this as another way of manipulating the students. So you, you don't just have the flashback lights, but we're also saying like, hey, Kibo, we're your inner voice. Like, do this, do X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. And because he, oh yeah, it's my inner voice. Of course, I trust my inner voice completely. I, oh. All I hear now is silence. That silence means my will is now my own. Even if despair is all we have to choose. Even if hope no longer exists, 
I will never give in to despair. Atta boy. I, I will end this. Oh, shit. No matter what, I will force this to end. This school, this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, is steeped in despair. I will destroy it. Oh my... What the fuck? voice i don't know who the hell this is i'm gonna assume, gonna assume it could be her oh i guess i should introduce myself what the fuck what the fuck like makoto makoto or makoto just had normal voice there are too many people in this who have normal voice oh i guess i should introduce myself my name's makoto I don't have any talents or anything, I'm just a regular teenager. This boring looking person is me. Who the fuck are you? I'm so confused. See? Even the way I look is normal. What's up with the Christmas music? Why do we have Christmas music? Getting into an elite school like this it's just the start of my bad luck. I can't keep up with my classmates' conversations or the teacher's lectures. I'm just treated like empty space in the classroom. Who's this voice actor? It's a woman, I can tell that. It's a woman doing a boy's voice, but I'm like, I can't. At home, my parents are constantly on my case. Honestly, I'm fed up. I want to run away from my daily life. I want to run away and just forget all this. I want to run away and run away and run away and run away and run away. I know this voice actor. I, oh, who are you? But I'm okay. <laughs> you're okay. No, you're not. You Lies, lies. I have a reason to live. I've got something to look forward to. That's why I'm gonna be okay. Thanks for the courage. Thanks for giving me something to get totally obsessed with. Thanks for the strength to keep going. I'll keep on rooting for you, so please keep trying your best. And one day, I'll also... Over there. 
I turn my head to where Marky was pointing. the school indiscriminately we need to hurry and stop him we'll get caught up in this mess if we don't but but how do we stop him all right we have to talk to him we can get him to come down hey it's dangerous but let's go to the courtyard and try to get his attention oh my yeah you're right confused by the situation unfolding in front of us we ran to the center of the courtyard to us. Hey. Here he comes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Did you call for me? What's happening? Please keep it brief. I have other matters I must attend to. Huh? Other matters? Yes. I'm going to end the killing game. Huh? End the killing game. Indeed. To do that, I must destroy the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles. What did you say? D destroy it? That's right. The killing game cannot go on if I destroy this school in its entirety. Could it be? So that's why you have that weapon? Hey. What's with that weapon in the jetpack? Yeah. I obtained this equipment from my lab. Huh? You had equipment like that in your lab? Yes. I made some modifications to drastically improve their power output and functionality. Wait. Since when have you been able to do that? You didn't level up or anything, right? Did something happen? Hmm. Uh, um... Didn't you say that you didn't want to use anything from that lab? Here's the thing. He was saying like, hey, now that I can't hear, now that I can't hear my inner voice, my thoughts are my own, was it his inner voice saying, hey, don't use anything in the lab? Don't use anything in the lab. That would make things too easy. He'd have, he'd have access to like a jetpack and a gun. Don't use it. And now without the inner voice, he's like, oh shit, I'm going to fucking use this. I'm going to use this. And I'm gonna destroy the shit out of this building. Didn't you say that you didn't want to use anything from the lab? Right. Th that's right. You don't like looking sci-fi. That's right. Yes, I wanted to be treated like a real human. A creature of flesh and blood like you all. I have decided. But I no longer have the luxury of clinging to that wish anymore. I... My course is clear. I must destroy this academy and end this killing game. You can't! Uh, hold on. If you do something like that, we'll all die too, you know? Um. There's no oxygen in the outside world. There are no living things. We're only able to survive because we're inside this spaceship, you know? Right. That's right. Are you trying to kill us too? Yes. If my actions result in your deaths, so be it. Huh? So be it. 
That's... Monokuma told us that despair is our only choice. That hope does not exist here. Unfortunately. And unfortunately, he is right. As long as this killing game continues, only despair awaits us. No. Wait, we still have hope. Remember. Our hope is everyone here. Our friends who are still alive. You're right. Yeah. If we all work together, even this killing game will... 100%. It will not stop. It will never stop. Hmm. What should we do? And even if we did manage to stop this killing game and escape, where would we go? Earth is destroyed. Humanity is extinct. We have no home to return to. What? That might be true, but... Which means... Monokuma is right. Despair is all we have here. We simply do not have the power to change the outside world on our own. Everyone! All we can do now is refuse to submit to despair. Hey! And you would be willing to let all of us die to accomplish that. Logical. That is a far better alternative than allowing Monokuma to continue the killing game. What was that? Uh, are you serious? Listen closely. Kaito and Kokichi gave their lives to end this killing game. We must do it. We should follow their example. We should be willing to give our lives to end this killing game. What do you mean? Is that what your inner voice is telling you to do? No. No, I can no longer hear that voice. Huh? You can't hear it anymore. That's right. For some reason, my inner voice has gone silent. This decision is my will, my choice. Yeah, it's, it's gone silent right after the thing on his head got knocked off. Right after the electrical thing on his head got knocked off. That is, that can't be a coincidence. He's been controlled. He is being controlled this entire time. And without that, he can't be. And he's decided this is the best course of action. I, oh. For some reason, my inner voice has gone silent. This decision is my will, my choice. I have decided. I've chosen to modify myself and destroy this academy. Everyone! We can never submit to despair because we are students of Hope's Peak Academy. No. No, that's wrong. Why? Wrong. That's... Because there might still be hope. There might still be a place to call home. Well then. And what are you basing that claim on? That's wrong. Nothing. But... I just have a feeling. You... Just a feeling. You sound like that idiot right now. Because... Kaito said so. It's just like Kokichi said. If this game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. Okay. There can be no killing game without an audience. Um... Hope's Peak Academy was the same way. It was a killing game made for an audience. This game must be the same way. Someone is watching this somewhere. There's someone left. It's a lonely little kid called Makota. <laughs> it's some loser. <laughs> I'm sorry, Makota. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I take that back. I'm sure, I'm sure Makoto is... A perfectly lovely person. I'm sorry for calling you a loser. I... Oh. I, I did note. He said, like, oh, thank you for giving me something to obsess over. People obsess over these games. People 100% obsess over these games. I... I just don't know where he slots in. That's my question. I'm like, where do you slot into this? Someone is watching this somewhere. There's someone left. There's still a possibility. <sighs> True, we cannot say there is absolutely no possibility, but even a mere possibility. No, that's wrong. That possibility is our hope. Huh? What? Because... We haven't investigated everything. There are still a lot of mysteries in this school. 
If there are still questions to answer, then we haven't found the truth. Um... And that means we can't give up. We can't give up before we reach the truth. I see. Spoken like a true ultimate detective. Hmm. I understand. Very well. I shall cooperate with your attempt to stop this killing game your way. Thank you. Kibo! Listen closely. But you have until dawn. I will not wait any longer than that. What do you mean until dawn? Huh? Until dawn? Yeah. Though dawn here is simply an illusion projected onto the dome. If you cannot stop the killing game by dawn. 100%. I will destroy the ultimate academy and end the killing game myself. tell you it's impossible to end the killing game because the killing game is forever eternal why you he, he's back unbelievable Attempting to destroy this precious academy is more than a violation of the school regulations. It's an act of mutiny! That's enough. So what? You are solely you are sorely mistaken if you think I will allow this to continue. Hmm. Huh? Is the robot malfunctioning? He must be. Why else would he try to defy me? But this! Then let's kill him until he dies from it. Hell yeah! Leave it to me! Ripping the robot apart isn't going at all, so I can go all out this time. And that's that. Pops, can we kill him, please? <laughs> oh, hoo, hoo. They're so brazen because they don't have any hair downstairs. They're bears. They're bears, they're covered in hair. Aww. Well, any last words? Eek! They're all in battle mode! Everyone! This place is dangerous. You all need to get out of here. Kibo! Kibo, are you okay? Yeah. Shuichi, please find this truth that you mentioned earlier while I stall them. Will then. It's all in your hands now. Now go. Okay. Alright. Never forgive rule breakers! Anyone who messes with the killing game must die! Exosols assemble! No, I won't let you run amok anymore. This killing game is over. Oh my god, I, c I can't believe this is all happening in the same episode where we got, like, Junko's silhouette. I... I... Um, th there are so many good opportunities for thumbnails. I'm... Sh what am I gonna do? I've got too many choices! In the name of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbol of hope itself, I will destroy the Ultimate Academy and bring down this monument to despair. Oh my god. That's how it began, in the war between Kibo and the Exosols. The Ultimate Academy became a battlefield. Goodbye, Dangan Rumpa. With deadly life. We ran to the entrance hall trying to escape the, the battle that was unfolding. Seems like I uh what I I I thought deadly life was after the murder. I thought it was daily life and then deadly are we miss I, I I didn't complete people's free time events. So. What what is happening? The things have suddenly become really bad. So the robot uprising finally happened. It 
It's what I always feared, but... Why, you? I... I never expected it'd be like this. Why? But why did Monokuma leave a weapon like that in the research lab? He's pretty careless, isn't he? Remember. Just as I said before, we need to find the truth in order to end this killing game. What's that mean? Okay, but what do we need to look for? <sighs> Obviously, we need to find the real identity of the mastermind behind the killing game. What? The mastermind? Is there really a mastermind in this academy? Why are you saying that, Smoogie? Why, why are you saying that? Why Why are you still harping on like, oh, there's no mastermind. There's totally no mastermind. It's, it's pretty much been decided there is a true mastermind. There is a true mastermind. So why, Samugi, are you still being like, oh, no, there isn't one. There isn't one. Mm. Suspicious. Suspicious. The mastermind? Is there really a mastermind in this academy? Because. If the, outsir if the outside world is destroyed, then the mastermind must be in this school, right? Kokichi wasn't the mastermind. Then, in that case... I don't know. But I thought the only ones saved by the Gopher Project were us 16 students. Nope. Don't you think it's possible someone may have infiltrated the Gopher Project? That's right. That someone could be the mastermind, hiding somewhere in this school. Um... Someone? You mean a remnant of despair, right? Then someone else inside the academy besides Kokichi is a remnant of despair? That's true. If we can find them and kill them, then this killing game should end. Uh, um... I don't know about killing them. But... But there is the possibility that the Mastermind is hiding somewhere in this academy. This complex is huge. There must be places we haven't explored yet. That's right. It seems like it's worth a shot. But... And that's not the only thing we have to find. To truly end this killing game, we must find this mastermind of despair. That's... And also find hope. Huh? Hope? Remember. Our home. Where we're going to live after this killing game ends. I know there is hope out there. We have to find it before we leave. jeez. Oh, this isn't some fictional story. As Himiko looks towards the screen and into the player's soul. This isn't some fictional story, so I don't think things will work out that well. Hey! But if we look for it, we just might find it. If we don't try, we'll never find anything. Okay. So we have to try. That's true. Since Kibo is distracting the Exosols, we won't have to worry about violating school rules. Okay. There must be other rooms that we haven't investigated yet. All right! You're right. There's no point complaining. Let's all just do what we can. Hmm. Well, if we all work together, everything will be all right, right? Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be difficult. No matter how impossible it seems, we'll accomplish it. Maki. Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right. We need to find the hope and despair hidden in this academy. When all is revealed, this killing game will end. <coughs> Investigation start. Oh my god. Hey. Then let's split up and start searching. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna split up. But we were just in such a united mood. But. Well, we don't have enough time left to all go together, unfortunately. You're right. Right, we'll see each other soon. All right. All right, I should go too. We need to end this killing game before dawn. Ah! Oh dear. Hmm. What? A hole? Now it's time to test your bonds with your friends. 
The time to dawn and your bond with your friends will be displayed. If your bond increases, you can move large debris. So work hard to end this killing game before dawn breaks. What the hell? What? I am... I'm, c I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm s I don't... I'm just... I just part of me... Okay. I... <laughs> Part of me is like, I want to go searching because I, th I think there are hidden Monokumas. I'm assuming there are hidden Monokumas, but like we have a timer. I'm oh my God, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. There's a staircase. Why is there a staircase here? Was this staircase supposed to be unlocked by a mysterious item? Hmm. There must be clues here. I have to investigate. Okay, okay, I just, I, I, I have to look, I have to be on the lookout for hidden Monokumas, uh, excuse me. Okay. Okay, there we go. I just, oh my god, I don't, I, I don't like, I, I don't, I don't like time limits, I like exploring at my leisure. Keep moving and keep your eyes out. I think that's... Wait, unless... Can we... No, that not that. What was it? Was it... I, ca I can't remember what the smash button was. It's fine. It's fine. No, I can't... Oh, God, I'm forgetting everything. I'm forgetting everything. There we go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can we... Would like to. There we go. Would like to. There we go. But this is so cool. This is I'm I'm freaking out. This is I'm I'm real I'm I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. This was a really good twist. It's broken, but from this door. Hmm. This must be an ultimate lab. It isn't open, but there's only one ultimate lab left. Okay. It's Kokichi's, the ultimate supreme leader's lab. This door isn't supposed to open. If a student dies before their ultimate research lab is opened, then the lab will remain closed. But Kibo's explosives broke the door. I should be able to get inside. I have to go inside. Okay, hmm. this, this is pretty cool. So this is Kokichi's lab. It certainly does have that evil organization feel. But there's nothing that would identify the remnants of despair. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Uh? Hope? Despair? Time, Kaito was in the Exosol. But it didn't seem like he knew anything about the remnants of despair. Kokichi and Kaito weren't there when we used that flashback light. But even without that memory, the truth is the same. If this lab were made for Kokichi, there should be some link to the remnants. Hmm. Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. I should investigate thoroughly. Okay, let, you know what, let me, let me go to that. Okay, we have, we have a brick. A rather suspicious brick on the floor. Okay. Yeah, I want to look at everything. That, that's suspicious, so, um, yeah, let's look at this first. There are matching shoes and suits of many colors here. If this is the ultimate Supreme Leader's lab, are these uniforms for the other members of the organization? There are some unsettling objects here. Gas masks, handcuffs. There are also wigs and glasses for disguises, I imagine, but they seem comical. Hmm. This doesn't seem like something the remnants of despair would use. No, it does not. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is Kokichi's chair. Definitely something a supreme leader would sit in. But something feels off. It's all too cliché. It feels as if this entire room is just an elaborate prank. Hmm. Yeah. It's, it's too cartoony. A large table. One I imagine is used for strategy meetings. There's nothing of any particular interest on top of the table. We can't look at that. The supercar? Ah. A supercar? Is this the kind of thing that members of this evil organization drive around? But would an evil organization really want to drive around in such flashy cars? Hmm. This is more like a child's idea of what an evil organization would have. And you over here. There's a collection of files here, bound like a book. Huh? The Complete History of Hope's Peak Academy. I picked up the book and began rapidly flipping through the pages. And inside... Information on Hope's Peak Academy, Future Foundation, and the Remnants of Despair. Hmm. This is a history of the battle between hope and despair. But we've already remembered all this. We know this information. I don't suppose it'd make for a particularly useful clue. I don't suppose. Hmm. No, something's not right. Something is off. Because the thing's written in this book. Got a minute? Do you really have time to read a book? Ah, uh. oh, Maki! I flinched in surprise as Maki peeked at the thick book in my hands. What? The complete history of Hope's Peak Academy. What's the point of reading this now? You already remembered Hope's Peak Academy with the flashback light, didn't you? No. Yes, I thought that as well. Hey! Uh, Maki, this is perfect timing. Will you come with me? Well, we'll see her response to this in the next episode, because I am just about out of time for this one. So please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.